Good evening. A review into HS2, the high-speed railway linking Birmingham with London and the north of England, says it should be built despite its rising costs. The leaked copy of the report from the Government Commission Review warns the project might cost even more than its current price of £88 billion. HS2 was first proposed in 2009 by the then Labour government. Four years later, the route from London to Birmingham and beyond was revealed. It received royal assent in 2017, but construction's been hit by protests and delays. It'll be 2026 at the earliest before passengers will be able to travel by high-speed rail. Kevin Reid reports. HS2 is intended to link London to Birmingham, Manchester and Leeds and the first phase would be between the capital and Birmingham. The company behind it is HS2 Limited and this recently released promotional video suggests it's business as usual for them. Britain's new high-speed railway, High Speed 2, is a game-changer for our rail network. But last August the government ordered a review amid spiralling costs. Now the Times newspaper claims to have obtained a draft which states the line should still be built. The review's been led by Douglas Okavy, but he's a former chairman of HS2 Limited and his role in all this has angered opponents. We've always been worried that HS2 is being pushed through without being properly assessed and the fact of the matter is that this report is yet another in a long list of bodged reports that hides the truth that has been basically a cover-up. It's a whitewash. It's been written by the Department for Transport and their civil servants and they are desperate that, this, that their gravy train is not derailed. Boris Johnson is said to have wanted the review's findings held back until after the general election, given the implications. But today the West Midlands Mayor Andy Street, who was on the review panel, said he backs the findings. What this is really doing is saying experts have looked at this on the basis of all the evidence and are recommending to the government to go ahead. I say if it's proven to be so. And then that really must improve the chances of the incoming government making a decision that would be in favour of this region in terms of jobs, in terms of freeing the existing rail capacity. So yeah, it could be very good news. Originally, the cost of HS2 was put at £33 billion. The draft says it's now £88 billion and rising. Kevin Reid, BBC Midlands Today. Well, I'm joined now by our transport correspondent, Peter Plisner. Peter, bearing in mind how much has been done and how much has been spent, was there ever any real likelihood it'll be scrapped? Well, it is true, Nick. It's probably not an easy project to turn your back on. They've already spent, according to the report, £9 billion cancelling it. Uh, it says would cost up to £3.6 billion. Of course, much of the growth that's happening in places like Birmingham is predicated on HS2 coming here. Other places up and down the country probably in a similar position. The report also says that there are no shovel-ready projects uh, that will be alternatives to HS2. Those are projects that are ready to go now that would really provide the capacity capacity that HS2 would provide. And the costs are actually eye-watering, aren't they? And likely to rise. They certainly so are. £88 billion at the moment, uh, likely to rise over £100 billion. There's no little doubt about that. The next phase between Birmingham and Crewe, the report says, it will cost more than anticipated, so yet more warnings about costs. And, of course, the benefit to the taxpayer uh, for every pound spent, uh, originally £2.30 would come back. That, according to the report, is now down to £1.30, although they do say more work needs doing on what they call the cost-benefit analysis. So what else does the, the leaked report say? Well, surprisingly, few cuts, Nick. Uh, uh, the uh, report says that they should go down to 14 trains an hour from 18. Uh, they could scrap the Handsaker link. That's a link between HS2 and the West Coast Main Line near Litchfield. Certainly they'll be pleased uh, for people living around there. And uh, that the line would go to Euston, not Old Oak Common, which uh, had been rumoured. That's in West London. And the private sector could raise, uh, private sector involvement could raise around £4 billion. Is uh, 2026 really likely to have that line up and running? Well, there's been a lot of talk about that. Earlier this year, the chairman of HS2, Alan Cook, said it could be delayed up to five years. Uh, if work starts, say, for instance, next year, that would really put us perhaps a 10-year build programme with uh, trains only being uh, running and carrying passengers in 2030.